Aloha, and welcome to Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. We broadcast live from the downtown studios of ThinkTech Hawaii in Honolulu, Hawaii, in the Pioneer Plaza. We are live every Thursday from 2 to 2.30, and then available on YouTube uh, for viewing afterwards. Uh, we're a show that talks about positive stories in Hawaii, successful individuals and their companies, uh, and we share some of the challenges that they've had and how they have overcome it. Uh, there was so much negativity uh, a couple of years ago, and occasionally pops its head up now, about business in Hawaii. I wanted to do a show that was more positive and emphasize the success. Uh, we have just passed our 100th showing. So we've been doing this for a couple of years, and we've got about 100 shows under our belt. So uh, it's been very well received, and we have a, a constant um, opportunity to show the successes in Hawaii. And today we're going to be uh, talking again with Matt Delaney, who is the uh, Hawaii Group's president and CEO. It's been in Hawaii for many years and very successful, both as a company and individually. And then also his uh, president and CEO of the Hawaii Employment, uh, Sean Knox. So Matt and Sean, it's great to have you on the show today. Thanks for and having us. Now, uh, as I mentioned earlier, Hawaii Group's been here in Hawaii for quite some time. Uh, for the viewers that may not be aware of the history, can you explain a little bit about the Hawaii Group, Matt? Sure. Thanks, Reg. Um, the Hawaii Group started about eight years ago, and we started with a company called Hawaii Human Resources, HIHR, and then we moved on to HI Employment, my partner, Sean, um, HI Accounting, and now we have a couple healthcare companies as well, HI Nursing and HI Home Care. And in the past, we had a marketing agency, which continues to operate, but supports our own uh, entities. Yeah, so it, there's a lot of moving parts here, a lot of different industries. I mean, that's, that's a lot to, to coordinate and control. It's, it's quite a bit, but it's fun. You know, I wake up every day, and I look forward to getting into work, and sometimes don't want to go to bed because I, you know, can't wait to, to handle what's next for the day. So it's, it's when you work with great people and have great partners, it makes it a fun time. Well, and that's probably one of the keys is having those great people there to help you and, and take you, you know, where you want to go with it. Absolutely. Yeah. And I guess you got one of those here today. You got Sean Knox here. Yep. Sean and I have been partners since actually July 10th. Uh, July 4th, 2010. Wow. So uh, next week will be our seven year anniversary and couldn't be any happier. Um, you know, we have different uh, strengths and weaknesses, and Sean's strengths are clearly some of the things that I lack. And I've just been so impressed with him since day one. And now we're into seven years with HI Employment. And every year, Sean's been able to grow the company double digits, and um, it's, wow. it's been fun. No pressure. Yeah, exactly. You know, but I'm sure you'll continue that for a while, right? Well, <laughs> we'll, we'll see how 17 does, but uh, we're hopeful. Oh, very good. Now, Sean, tell us a little bit about yourself. Sure, yeah. Um, uh, local boy, uh, born in Kau, raised in Hilo. Uh, went to elementary school in the Hamakua Coast. Uh, was able to get off the island for a little while and uh, went to college in Tacoma, Washington. Uh, my wife and I then moved out to England for a few years. Uh, and From one island to another. Island. Absolutely. Um, and one wet climate to another. And so uh, we were really looking for the opportunity to come back to Hawaii. I uh, was fortunate enough to land a, a position managing the local Robert Half office. Mm. Uh, did that for a few years, and uh, my wife and I decided to have a go of it on our own. And we started an agency uh, called Poi Employment in 2005. And um, yeah, it's, it's been uh, a roller coaster since then. Very good. Well, I guess, uh, you know, joining forces with the Hawaii Group, I mean, it's a very dynamic organization. I mean, mm -hmm. they've constantly got something going on. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I think that's what really uh, drew Matt's attention to Poi Employment uh, as, a, as, a, as a strategic partner, as well as um, myself, uh, to a strategic partnership with Matt, his accounting team, and his, his payroll team. Uh, we, when my wife and I started the agency in 2005, we, we had a, a good run for a few years, and we got knocked sideways by the recession. And so uh, we, we need to look for an exit strategy uh, and uh, typical local style. The, uh, the, my insurance broker was a guy I went to Hilo High School with, and he, he knew Matt, and he said, you know, she really does connect with Matt again. And, and I, I knew Matt from his Mark Resort days. And we just started talking. And um, my wife has now been able to move back into her chosen profession as a therapist at Shriners Hospital. Wow. Uh, she loves what she does. Uh, but she was a fantastic bookkeeper, payroll person. But uh, you know, we, we just needed to evolve. And Matt had the accounting and the payroll in-house. And it allowed me, as a business owner, to focus on what I 
enjoyed doing and, and I knew best, which was finding talent for the businesses out of Hawaii. Well, and that's the contribution you're making. That's, yeah. that's your comfort, that yeah, you're, you exactly. know, your passion, if you will. So yeah, yeah. that's great. And one thing about Matt, and I don't want to put words in your mouth, but you're always looking for an interesting opportunity that kind of fits into what you're doing. I mean, and that's worked very well for you in the past. Yeah, absolutely. We, you know, kind of joke that we service our clients and whatever they ask us, we'll do. And that's really part of the reason we got into the staffing and recruiting was our HR clients were calling us up saying, can we have a receptionist today? <laughs> and trying to explain that, hey, that's not really what we do. So our plans to grow with it. So then when I met, reconnected with Sean, um, I had worked together with him. We hired a CFO through Robert Hafs and mm -hmm. Sean helped us. And so right there was that opportunity. Um, then there was the accounting, right? And then healthcare is a whole nother story. Um, but you know, I joke as soon as a client asks us to wash our car, wash their car, we'll start up <laughs> HI Car Wash. Well, sure enough now, Sean's brought in the majority of the rental car agencies and all the uh, wow. neighbor island so we are washing a lot of cars now so <laughs> we're definitely uh, opportunistic and and look to fill that need where people need help well opportunistic in a positive way I mean it's all geared to you know supporting the client relationships that you have and when they have a need you're able to take advantage of that and provide that uh, service to them so yes. it's, it's all positive oh, you know, definitely. It's, yeah. yeah it's a great thing and I think that you know I'm being reactive you know, it takes a certain mindset. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got to be flexible, right, and nimble. I mean, you never know what's going to be coming up. Yeah. So, and you guys are pretty good at that. Yeah, we, we've also been blessed uh, with some good key hiring decisions along the way. Uh, when we really wanted to focus on our executive placement market, we were able to bring in Barbara Gus, who has uh, over 20 years of executive placement experience. Mm -hmm. uh, when we wanted to go after the industrial staffing division, we hired someone with that background. Uh, one area that's really exciting that we, we really enjoyed uh, watching it grow is our educational staffing services. Hmm. Uh, we provide substitute teachers to the public, uh, private schools here big, in Hawaii. Big, big demand for oh, that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, there's definitely a need there uh, for qualified, well-trained uh, educational professionals to come in and work with our kids. Now, just out of curiosity, um, you know, I've had people on the show before that talked a little bit about some of the, the talent that our military has as far as their spouses are concerned. Sure. Um, and it's been suggested that maybe there's uh, a good opportunity for substitute teachers or, or temporary teachers from that piece of the military, the ones of the spouses. Mm -hmm. uh, have you explored that at all? Is that a viable option, or wh what's your thoughts on that? Yeah, definitely. We, we, um, we enjoy our relationship with the military spouses and the military um, divisions uh, completely. I mean, the, 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 the talent that comes in uh, with, with the servicemen and, and women um, they come in with experience, they come in with a good work ethic. Uh, yeah, they may only be available for three, three, four years, but uh, you, get a, you get a really great candidate in, in that well, component. And, and how long does a teacher last anyways when yeah. they're new to, the, to Hawaii? I mean, it's usually yeah. just a year or two anyway. So sure. it's, um, you know, you can't look at, you know, I can't look at that as, as a negative necessarily, but mm -hmm. it's a good pool of talent. You know, and you're right, they've got the right mindset mm -hmm. and, and they have that work ethic. So yeah. it could be a, an interesting, and it sounds like you've already explored that as an opportunity. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. good. Yeah. yeah. How are you dealing with the labor market in today's world? I mean, it's, yeah. I mean, by definition, I guess we're full employment. So it makes yeah. it hard to find good people these days. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's a tough market out there, and, and it's, uh, it transcends all the islands. Uh, there's no easy place to recruit right now, whether you're in Kona or you're over in Lihui. Um, each island has its own unique challenges, um, but it's tight. Uh, it definitely is tight. Hawaii is at a, a 4.8, I'm sorry, a 2.8 unemployment rate, and, and uh, Oahu itself, 2.4. So uh, what, what we just have to do is pivot our, our, um, our business model, and, and where we May a few years ago have been on, focused on uh, reaching out to new businesses, uh, trying to get them to sign up with Hawaii Employment. We're spending all of our time and effort on the recruitment side. Uh, we're, we're making, um, we're increasing referral bonuses to our existing pool of uh, 600 employees. We are uh, increasing our advertising uh, both online and in print. Uh, we're going out into the military community and letting them know what we have available. Uh, so um, it's about developing relationships with people out there that can hopefully send business as well as uh, talent over to us. So we, we have that resource when our clients call us. 
Right, and you can handle all sized companies. I mean, small companies, large companies. I mean, is there any limitations to what you can do? There's, there's really not. You know, we handle small, small employers to huge. There's always a need, and the nice thing about HI employment is we're one of the few, if not the only one here in Hawaii that is very diversified and really handles all industries. Um, a lot of agencies focus on a specific niche, and they're really good at that. So that's really helped us weather the different storms and economic periods we've gone through because, you know, if tourism goes down, we do a lot of tourism, but we have a lot of other industries um, that we service. So it's, it's, a, it's a nice position for us to be in. Yeah, it's good to be diversified. Sure. Uh, right. And not have an undue concentration in one particular revenue source. Yeah. You know, that's, yeah. It's a wise move. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, you've got uh, you know, some real interesting opportunity. I mean, the healthcare side of what you're doing, too, mm -hmm. uh, offers some, some very attractive opportunity. Yeah, Sean actually helped us get our healthcare division going. And then that grew, so now we have a uh, president that, that runs that. So on the nursing side, it's very similar, where we're providing staff on either a temporary or contract basis to hospitals, the state hospital, the correctional facilities, and now we do home care, which, again, similar, we're providing staff. Um, we work for the insurance companies and the, the hospitals, and ultimately, our end client is the family and the children or the patient. Mm -hmm. And so... You know, they're similar to HI employment. We are always trying to find the best people, people that uh, will enjoy what they're doing, will provide great service, will do it with a smile and with dignity, especially on the healthcare side. It, it can be some sensitive situations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And do you find enough people to be able to fill the needs here, or do you have to go other places to, to find the talent? So similar to HI employment, um, we're, we look everywhere, every island, but the reality is we do have to go to the mainland. Um, there's definitely a nurse, nurse shortage here in Hawaii. So we are constantly recruiting from all places. So what Sean has done with HI Employment and we've done throughout Hawaii Group is really tried to create a reason for these temporary employees or these healthcare employees to want to work for us. So for us to be the preferred agency, we of course want the clients to come to us and be the preferred agency. But we've done that by trying to create benefit packages that you typically find in full-time employment versus temporary. So we're out there with 401ks. Once you work a certain amount of hours, you get bonuses, health care, all of those things that typically you probably wouldn't find no, as a temp that's, employee. That's, yeah. So we're constantly trying to kind of think that way and what would somebody want to make us their choice. Very interesting. Now, we're going to have to go on break real quick, but when we come back, let's talk a little bit more about retention. Sure. You know, and okay. that's an important part of the equation as well, right? Uh, this is Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. We're here with the Hawaii Group talking with uh, the CEO and president of not only the group itself, Matt Delaney, but also of the Hawaii employment side, Sean Knox. We're going to take a quick one-minute break, and we'll be right back. veteran. My victory was finding the strength to be a champion. My victory is having a job I can be proud of. At DAV, we help veterans get the benefits they've earned. My victory was finishing my education. My victory was getting help to put our lives back together. DAV provides veterans with a lifetime of support. My victory is being there for my family. Help us support more victories for veterans. Go to DAV.org. Aloha, and welcome back to Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. We heard talking today with the Hawaii Group uh, and the Hawaii Employment, uh, the both CEO and presidents of both areas, and we're learning a lot about the employment situation, the temporary and permanent executive placement, uh, and the Hawaii Group itself. It's, it's got a lot of different uh, moving parts to it, and today we're just focusing on Hawaii Employment. So, uh, Sean, Mac, welcome again. Um, we were just talking a little bit about retention and how important that is. I mean, finding the employee, getting them into the company, getting them started, uh, whether it be a, a part-time or permanent position, 
uh, is, is a big part of the effort, but then once you get them, you've got to keep them. Now, what are, what are some of the, um, if we could use the word, tricks of the trade that you're going to employ to keep these people happy that they're not going to go anywhere? Yeah, fair enough. Um, you know, unfortunately, there's no silver bullet out there. We don't, we don't have that secret recipe. Um, but it really comes down to uh, knowing your employees and what's important to them. You know, is it, uh, is it the right benefit package? Do they need to have the family medical plan? Uh, is it strictly compensation? Is it, are they purely driven by numbers? Uh, is it the environment itself? Are they, uh, you know, they, they may be a little bit more financially comfortable. Uh, they're just looking for the right type of environment in which um, uh, to spend their day. Because I mean, really, we spend more time with our coworkers and our family a lot of the time. And so um, that, that plays a big part of it as well. It does because you know once they're gone, then you got to start that process all over again, which can yeah. take months to find somebody and bring them up to speed and get them to the point where the person is that left. Yeah, you know, so it's equally, if not more important, to keep them around. Now, mm -hmm. Matt, I'm curious. There's multi generations in the workforce these days. There's different age groups. There's the baby boomers, and then there's the next one. The next one, I kind of lose sight where we're at sometimes. <laughs> you know, the X's and the Y's and the Z's. Um, you know, knowing what motivates people. That got to be a little bit of a challenge too, right? Because it's different. Definitely different. And the way they communicate the different generations is very different. So, you know, we're learning to adapt to the new generation with using apps, you know, texting, um, different methods than your traditional um, ways of not only finding people but communicating. And a lot of the technology has really helped us. So, for example, we have some large clients um, the convention center where there's a lot of shifts and now we have some technology where we don't have to call 200 people when there's a big event. Mm -hmm. There's technology that we can text, we can email, they can confirm right on their handheld whether they want to work that shift or not. So some of the technology has really helped us, but getting back to really on the recruiting side, we're now branching out, you know, trying to recruit social media. In the old days, you would place an ad in the newspaper and people mm -hmm. would look up, mm -hmm. you know, where jobs available and now there's so many different outlets that we're constantly trying to find where the next generation is looking for jobs. That's right and then that um, can be quite effective because you know I mean I'm now getting into the social media and I know I've got a lot of communication capabilities today I didn't have 15 years ago you know and it's it's made life I think interesting maybe even challenging but a lot more productive mm -hmm. you know you get a lot more done using the technology that's available today. Now, let me switch gears just a little bit here. If there was an employer, somebody that was looking for some talent, uh, how would they reach out to you and let you know what needs to be done? I mean, do they just pick up the phone? Do they go to the website? How, how does that work? Call 695-3974. <laughs> uh, or go to our website. Uh, it's www.hi-employment.com. Um, it's very user-friendly. Uh, it has an option there to send us an email uh, requesting information from the agency. It comes straight to me, uh, and I check my emails quite frequently, and um, we'll get back to you within an hour. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's yeah. impressive. Yeah, just uh, some follow-up uh, to get more information as to what exactly the client is needing, uh, really drill down so we have a clear understanding of what the expectation is. So uh, on the flip side of that, we, we, we do the right uh, due diligence on the back end of it to make sure the talent that we're securing mm -hmm. meets up with the need of the client. Right, and so once once they reach out and they make contact and they've shared some information back and forth as to what they're looking for, what they think they're looking for, because sometimes what they might need mm -hmm. is a little different. And so you can help out with that a little bit too, right? Yeah, we um, we we always try to meet with the client at their property. Uh, it always makes sense to know as much about them as possible because not only. Uh, our individual, our, our business is looking for the right set of skills for the position that they're hiring for. It's got to be a culture match too. I mean, mm -hmm. sometimes, mm -hmm. yeah, if you're bringing in a temp for, for a day or two, not as important. But if you're bringing on someone, um, an administrative professional, on a temp to hire basis, um, yeah, you really want to make sure that the person that comes on board can sync with your team. Right. And then you, you once you get a good picture of what they're looking for. Um, what kind of vetting process do you do? Do you, I mean, is there a process that you do the in initial interviews or you send out two or three people for them to pick? How, how does that part of it work? Sure. Um, it, it really is client driven. Some clients, uh, when they need 10 guys to help uh, move uh, furniture or uh, pack in for an event at the convention center, 
uh, we just send them to 10 individuals. It's our job to make sure that um, they can physically do the job, uh, that they have proven to have a decent track record of showing up on time uh, and are reliable and, and professional uh, and dressed appropriately, uh, as opposed to maybe someone, uh, if you're looking for a, a long-term accountant in your office, uh, we, we go through uh, financial screening, uh, we can do uh, credit checks if need be, uh, criminal checks, uh, most of our labor employees, and, and we do the preliminary interview, and we want to make sure that when we're talking to the employee, that we have a clear understanding of what they're looking for, so we're not trying to fit that square peg in a round hole. Right. Uh, and, and from there, we're able to communicate with the client a little more articulately and, and specifically why this person is going to enhance um, their office and really, um, well, be a good addition to the team. Be a good fit. Yeah. Yeah, Matt. I mean, you've got a lot of different companies that kind of fall under your umbrella, you know, the accounting and the, the temporary, the health care. Um, you know, I guess if you've got a client somewhere else that you're taking care of and they have a need, I mean, they don't have to go chasing this down. You've got a pretty seamless way of referring the business over to make sure that they get what they're looking for. Right. That, that was the <coughs> concept behind the Hawaii group. You know, with HR started, the volume came there, and again, people needed temps, people wanted accounting. And so we have, you know, hundreds of clients throughout the combined entities. And so we, we kind of get the heads up, right? If we're doing accounting for a company and working with their people, right. we're usually the first to find out that somebody's going on maternity leave or somebody's moving, and then we can recommend, you know, Sean and his team to them, vice versa. So it's really a great cross-marketing ability for us to really be that one-stop shop and the more we gain the trust of our clients, mm -hmm. the more they're coming to us. And kind of back to the car wash thing, you know, yeah. hey, I need an attorney. They're coming now to us to refer them to somebody. Because if they're trusting us with their accounting, they were trusting us with their HR and payroll and staffing, we're a trusted, you know, really partner for them. And we want to be at the table and they come to us. It's truly an integrated back office support, you yeah. know, almost as a partnership with your clients to make sure that everything that they need is being taken care of. Yes. You know, let, let them focus on their core business and we'll take care of the back office. And the back office generally is compliance related. Mm -hmm. uh, it generally doesn't make you any money, but it's things you have to do. There's regulations, there's taxes, there's the government. And so... I'll tell you what, Matt, you don't pay your payroll taxes one time. That's going to cost you. <laughs> big there's time. some big penalties big time. with that. Big yeah. time. So, you know, it may Taxes not be a too. revenue generator, but it sure could save you some real heartache down the road. Yes, and it's, it's peace of mind. You know, the majority of business here in Hawaii are small, 19 or fewer employees. The majority of those have nine or fewer. So they don't have the ability to have their entire own payroll team or staffing or recruiting. And so it really gives them peace of mind. And I truly believe the majority of businesses out there are small. They want to do things right. They want to have insurance. They want to go to bed at night knowing if something happens mm -hmm. that it's taken care of. There's quite a few people out there that don't either economic reasons or they, again, just don't know where to go and maybe aren't intentionally not following the laws. They just don't know any better. Right. And so as companies start learning more and wanting to, again, peace of mind, they come to us knowing they'll focus on their core competency and will protect them right. on the back and end. And their core competency generally is going to be the revenue generating piece of this, so they don't have to get bogged down with all this back office. Yes. You know, it's a great partnership. Now, we've got about a minute left, and we talked about the employer piece of, mm -hmm. of how they find. How do you go about finding the employees? You know, because you need both sides, right? Absolutely. We've got about a minute to, do, to okay. quickly describe that. Sounds good. Uh, call 695-3974. <laughs> so that goes to our front desk. Uh, each island has its own recruiting team. We have offices over in Kona, Kahului, uh, Lehui, at the Convention Center, and right down the street here at Topa Center. Uh, walk on in, uh, introduce yourself to the team, uh, or go online. We have an online application, or call the office. Uh, we'd love to talk to you, see what kind of opportunities we can find for you. Because, again, we, we service everything from agriculture to hospitality, uh, administrative to general labor, substitute teaching, executive professionals. Yeah. And, you know, you've always got to have that inventory there. So you're always yeah. looking for good people. I mean, it's yeah. really a never-ending process. No, nope. we're always recruiting. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, that's good. And, and I would imagine that most companies, you know, I mean, I was a small business at one time. I still am now on a micro level. But 
when I had a couple hundred employees for me, I was always keeping those, uh, uh, you know, the ears to the ground yeah. to, to look for good people to bring in. And it was just never ending. It was constant. But I appreciate uh, you taking the time to come over and talk to us today. It sounds like uh, the Hawaii group is doing very well, and you're leading a, a great piece of it. You know, it's uh, a, a very important piece of it for Hawaii as well as, you know, for the, the small business community in Hawaii. So thank thanks you for having us. Much. Thank you. All right. Uh, this is Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. Uh, we were here today talking with the Hawaii group and HR, uh, HI employment, uh, you know, with Sean and with Matt. Uh, found out that they're very busy, they're growing, they're doing very well. Uh, and if you're an employer looking for good employees, they're a place to go. Uh, we broadcast live every Thursday from 2 to 2.30 uh, from the downtown studios of ThinkTech Hawaii. Uh, hopefully we'll see you next week. Until then, aloha.